All right, bro. I want to welcome you to the first ever edition of Turn Up the Heat. Literally the first time ever. We got Amadeep Singh, aka Inquisitive, man. How you doing? I'm very well, my brother. I'm honored. That was one of an introduction. <laughs> first ever. Thank you, bro, for having me here, man. This is a brand new segment series we've created with Turn Radio and, Turn Radio and Supri. So it's going to be a lot of fun. But basically, Turn Up the Heat, the concept is, you know, you're in the hot seat right now. I got the red light behind you. Yeah. Things are cooking up in the background. <laughs> feeling the sweat, bro. It feels the sweat. It's going to be some fun rapid fire, get to know you. But mate, just let everyone have a chance to get to know you before tomorrow's event and just in general. Of course, bro. You ready for it? I'm hype. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> so we're going to do this. Favorite sport? Cricket. Cricket. You would probably Do you know about cricket? Yeah, yeah. Oh, so what's the thing? It's a huge let me, thing. Let me, on the let me give you some real quick. I grew up watching cricket oh! with, with the pops. Two, three in the morning. India versus Pakistan. That's all it. the OG matches. You Sachin can't Tendulkar miss those games. Up. Those games have to be seen. <laughs> have to be seen. <laughs> Favorite team. Favorite sports team in general. Arsenal FC. Oh, Premier League soccer, bro. F- soccer, football. I say, but yeah. <laughs> you did some cool stuff with Arsenal, which we'll talk about in a little oh, bit too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Favorite movie. <sighs> Gladiator. Oh, throwback. Russell Crowe throwback. Russell Crowe, man. <laughs> One of the greatest films of all time, man. And I'm a huge Bruce Lee fan, so each Bruce Lee movie, yeah. Okay, favorite Marvel character? Oh, oh, oh. Mm-hmm. I can't do this, bro, because you know why? I'm a huge Batman fan. I feel sad, man. You know why I asked you this? I feel bad. I saw the Warner Bros. stuff in the <laughs> lab, and I was like, yo, I got to throw this to him to see. So then how about this? Is it, is it Batman then? We'll just say superhero. <sighs> Batman, man. Batman. Batman, okay. For sure. How about go-to meal? <sighs> Nando's. <laughs> Nando's. Listen, Nando's is a religion in London, man. But but if that, if not that, my wife say I've got to say her cooking. So okay, <laughs> okay. What's what's the dish she cooks that's the go-to? Oh man, chicken and rice, man. That's Classic one. chicken and rice. One. She's there, yeah, yeah. She's I, big... I went to London like four years ago, first time ever. The first meal they took us to, you know what it was? Nando's, bro. <laughs> How was the experience? How was the experience? So Nando's is fire. I mean, I generally love chicken anyway, but Nando's there hit different than the one we had. Please, here. oh my god, I'm glad you said that because we've been everywhere. London's Na- London's Nando's is the one, man. So, yeah. That's like the OG one. Okay, <laughs> if you could have one superpower, what would it be? Ooh, ah, flying, man. Flying would be awesome. Like just being like a bird in it, like check man. That'd be fire, man. Go over wherever you want, anytime you That's want. That's it. Morning or night. When are you most creative? Oh, I'm a child of the night, man. Because everyone's asleep. All the best ideas are there to grab, man. Yeah. <laughs> That's how it is, huh? Honestly, I'm, I'm just like a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a child of the night. I'm, I'm heavily inspired by seeing the moon, the stars. and It's the best way. I've never, I've never looked any other way to do it. I actually cannot paint in the day. I've tried so many times creative blocks. I can't do it. Really? So yeah, you're a night owl, basically. Yeah, you'll see a lot. My artwork always has a moon in it. And every time you see a moon in my artwork, it's because I painted it at night. That's a dope little detail. I, maybe people don't know about that, but it happened right here. Okay, we'll <laughs> that. I see you rocking OVO a lot. Mm. Got the fear of God on today. Mm. What's the go-to brand for you? <sighs> you got a fire fit. You're going to go out. Hey, we're going out later tonight. Oh. What are you rocking? Uh, big up Virgil, man. Off-white. Off-white for sure, man. Mm-hmm. I, I, I'm a big Supreme guy as well, but off-white. Virgil, Virgil's collection of off-white, though. Um, no disrespect now, but yeah, man. Off-white's the one. From day dot, I've always supported that, man. Yeah. <laughs> He's the OG, OG. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what person or company would be your dream collaboration? J. Cole, man. Ooh. J. Cole. Okay. He's aware of my work. He's, he's tweeted me before. He's seen it when I, when I did the Forest Hills Drive artwork. But J. Cole, would, for me, would be the guy, man. Dang, okay, that's a big one. So wait, wait, can I just say this collaboration actually? Oh, well, you know, I mean, shoot, you know, pop this up. This will have to be the clip that we use for tomorrow, you know. Yeah. Uh, biggest, what is your biggest fear? In a plane, cr- plane crashing. Oh. That, that for me, I, bro, I could be buried alive, I could be underwater, I can figure it out. Being in a plane and not being and able to down. control it, because you can't do anything. But well, there you go. Uh, I just started watching this show called Yellow Jackets. Okay. I know you I've heard, heard about, about it. Yeah, yeah. So in the second episode, it's all about a prank, plane crash. Mm. Man, the fears were hitting me in the bed. I was like, my hands are sweaty. And I'm like, oh, man. I can't. Because I, I know I'm not in control, right? I'm not in control yeah. of it. So yeah. You just sit there. And <laughs> oh, but shut is ready. Okay, so you said something before we started the interview. Honestly, I don't even know what you said. Mm. But teach me a word of London slang. Oh, bro. Okay, so you don't watch Top Boy, bro? Okay, so <laughs> I know I'm guilty of this, and so many of my friends watch Top Boy. Okay. And I've seen them transform into what I believe are the characters on Top Boy. So that's why I'm nervous to watch it. Okay. I don't know if I should okay. transform. Okay. <laughs> so I'm from East London, right? In East London, you don't say your T's. So, for example, for example, uh, you saw a pretty girl on Saturday. <laughs> say it. <laughs> you saw a pretty girl on Saturday, but you don't say your T's. So say that. They saw a pretty. Pretty girl. Pretty girl. On Saturday. <laughs> Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> That's sick. Some of the 
the, I guess the slang and the languages you guys use. Yeah. It just sounds so dope, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like people tell you that often. But yeah, no, bro, when I'm, again, I'm I'm with you right now doing this collaboration, right? But like, bro, when I'm with my boys, we're like talking like this, like, you want to go get down one time, yeah? Like, they're like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, like my, my brother-in-law, someone's with us, like, what do you say? And like, <laughs> we're just instantly like that, isn't it? I love that. Uh, so you also have a, a husky named Banksy. Oh, yeah. Right? Is boy. it true that dogs are man's best friend? Listen, man. <laughs> Listen, without a doubt. And they're awesome for creative blocks, man. Like mm. just one like block walk with him and that's it. I figured my idea around. I know what I want, man. And Huskies especially, man. Energetic. So oh, I miss him, man. I can't wait to see him. Sick dog. Huskies one of my favorite. Yeah, yeah. Um, you kind of answered this question already, but I'm asking anyway and switch it. If you could collab with any artist, but we'll say, I was going to say dead or alive. So how about that has passed away? Oh, man. Who would you pick to work with? Man, even a conversation with Bruce Lee, man. <sighs> just a, a conversation um, but like I said, I'm inspired by like artists that people may not know. Like I'm a children's illustrator by heart, actually. So there's a couple of illustrators that I would love to like, like even the old classic Quinton Blake's Roll Dolls, like all these, like I've grown up watching, right? That's like sick. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Like having a been okay, in a room okay. with them and I'm in a conversation. That's my. I can see you whipping up some crazy oh. art if you did that. Listen, listen, I'm not. I can't say too much on this, but there's lots happening in 2024. Bro. Okay, okay, that's great. That's great. <laughs> I like to hear that, bro. Um, what's the most played song on your playlist right now? <sighs> Okay, so a lot, a lot of people know this. So when I paint, I paint to music only because I feel sometimes when I'm painting to lyrics, it dictates what I do. You might hear Lil Wayne saying the word hate and you're painting red. You don't realize you picked up red. You might hear Drake say the word cold and you're picking up blue. So I can't paint to lyrics. I paint to uh, electro music. So my favorite DJ in the world is Paul Van Dyke. Paul Van Dyke. Yeah, he's OG. Legendary DJ. My favorite song is Reflections. That's the most played. That's yeah. so dope. My wife can't handle it, but I can. So <laughs> like, she's like, change that. She change she's tired of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's my most played song. That and J. Cole, Love Yours. Love Yours is a bad boy track. Yo, Love Yours is one of the best oh, songs ever, bro. Tap, man. Yeah, of course. That's sick. I'm going to ask you about that in a second. I, I just saw the Bruce Lee. I just peeped the Bruce Lee oh, one, yeah, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, so that was fun. Rapid Fire, we're going to move into the second segment. A little bit deeper, but same concept. For real? Name a place you love to showcase your art. Somewhere you haven't before. And it could, doesn't have to be a city could be any place all right bro look i'd love to i would love to go to india india's my biggest fan base i've got much love from india but obviously like when it, when it's right to go there i'll it's go right there. Time, when yeah. is the right time man uh, <laughs> but yeah that is dope and bro man that's the roots that's a culture man you know what i mean i've got so much love for india exactly. man. So, yeah, i would love to go there at some point again that's i've been beautiful. before if it's possible can you name your favorite piece of art that you've created to date might be uh, tough that's like uh, picking a, one of my children, right? Um, <laughs> but I know the ones that made me feel really confident and I was having a conversation with the team about this, like one's called King Without a Crown because that was the first time it was like a sick contemporary piece of art that's not seen before. Like we're mm -hmm. so used to seeing the gurus in a certain way, like just being very like uh, heroic and warrior-like. I, I flipped it. I was like, I'm going to do something that's going to be more deeper, like splashes and colors, but each thing represents uh, an element or a highlight of something. And that's one of the reasons my name is inquisitive because I want people to pose questions of why I, I have done what I, d I have. And that's the one that's given me a lot of recognition, man. I actually didn't know that. So that, for yeah, me, yeah. That, was, that was dope to hear as a fan of the art. I appreciate that. That was really sick. So building off that, who is your, is, who's your biggest inspiration? My dad. Okay. My dad is my life. Um, I picked up art because of him. He's a calligrapher. He used to work for the Indian High Commission, but he used to do calligraphy for the royal family. Princess Diana, oh, wow. King Charles, everything. So um, as a child, I used to copy him. And it's because of him. And again, it's a taboo subject, man. The arts in the South Asian community. But he's always cheered me on. And God bless my mom as well. But like, yeah, like, he's my biggest inspiration. That's a dope story, bro. Yeah, man. So it's literally like, it's all in the heritage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Passing oh, down. 100%. And it's going to carry on. That's amazing. What's been your biggest regret to date? Honestly, the first two, three years of doing what I do as inquisitive, no belief in myself, man. No belief. Oh, I ain't going to make it. Even my mom forced me to become this artist. And I wish there was more like... Like, there's so many opportunities I turned down because I didn't want to be this. I didn't believe in myself, man. S simply that. And it's cliche to say it, man. But you really don't. You start off with a name. Who's going to like the word inquisitive? No one's going to say that. 13 years on, we're sitting in Edmonton. like And people know the name. Mad. Yeah, it's crazy, <laughs> right? <laughs> if you could pick one emotion that's most captured in your art, what would you say that is? Mystery, man. I love to deepen the mystery in my work. I love to have... Um, the ideas that come out to my artwork aren't the ones that are sitting in the middle of my brain. It's the ones that are in the corner of my, of my mind. Those are the ones I want put to put forward because I love people questioning and I, I, I live for reactions and emotions. I don't want people to see my work. I want them to feel it. And if they can feel it, 
I've done my job, man. That's amazing. When I was doing a deep dive on the socials, I went through all your stories, oh, story posts, and I saw you you would share a lot of the times when you're you're hiding something. Not hiding something, but like it's, it's like yeah. a tidbit. Yeah, you know, yeah. Yo, it's a mystery almost. And that, that to me is dope because when you buy a piece of art or you see an artist, like yeah. I feel like that's what makes it. You're walking by it every day and then you see something a year from now 100%. that you never thought of before, but you planted that and you always, you always knew it was the artist. Yeah, man. I mean, and that's the best part about doing what I do I get to do I get to engage with a viewer and this is one of the reasons I love exhibiting it's, it's so different from reading a comment saying hey I love that I love what you've done but when you have that person like oh my god I yeah it's different I, get, is, I live for it I live for it what is the best piece of advice you've ever gotten my mom man my mom my mom passed away in 2019 she's giving me the best advice she's like look man um consistency is everything man be confident in what you do mm -hmm. be consistent and God won't, God won't give you a challenge you, you can't handle. I love that. I think that's fire, man. Um, so taking those things on, man, I've always been like, you know what? Anything that comes my way, I'm going to do it in that way. And everything, every success I have and, you know, everything that, that comes my way is is, is kind of like for my mom, man. So, yeah, I love that. Sorry, bro. That, yeah. that's, that's mad love. Um, that's also a great quote, like you said. Yeah, yeah, it's Something, fire, something to live by and yeah. believe in. Um, let's switch to the tattoos a little bit. All right. Little tatties. You didn't shave today. That's all good, though. <laughs> So, <laughs> I, you know, I see the Bruce Lee. I see there's some other stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, if you could pick one that's perhaps the most meaningful, mm. could you? I have right place, right time on either one of my hands. Right place, but right time. I've, I've cleared the word right and I've wrote right. So I'm writing my future. So I continue to look at that. Sick. Yeah, I continue <laughs> to look at that. I was like, yo, I'm going to flip this. And I, every time I paint, I realize that I'm actually unintentionally making my own legacy i'm actually creating something that's gonna outlive me so i have to do it with consideration and carefulness of what's what i'm gonna about to portray and i always get reminded by that that's lit is, the, is, is everywhere tatted i see the neck one is, the, is their legs and everything too pretty much pretty much man i've got 37 tattoos <laughs> yeah i've got a lot you've just seen a couple here bro i've got 37 man what's crazy is i have four and i'm like <laughs> man i'm the fucking man like i got four tatties <laughs> you came here with 37 yeah, yeah. that's crazy but aren't they like so like you just want to keep going it's like, addicting yeah man i told everyone if you don't want to get in the game no. <laughs> don't get one because it's just like you just want it yeah and, and again it's a, a lovely way to express yourself it, mm. you are a canvas and it's a great expression of your individuality yep what is a city that inspires your creativity the most I'm not saying this because my wife's from there, but Toronto, man. <laughs> okay. I, and I'm not saying that because I'm... Please don't hurt me, Edmontonians, man. Please, please, please. No, man. Honestly, I feel like I pick up inspiration from every city I go to. London is my heart. I'm from London. I've, I've seen and been inspired by the history of London, the, the small alleyways, the streets, the, the chicken shops on the corner. Everything There's inspires so me about yeah. London, man. Mm -hmm. So London is it. But Toronto, I have a special place for because it's the first place I exhibited ever and that's when i realized yo man there's actually people that appreciate my work so i've got a very soft spot for it man i like that yeah. toronto also has fire food it does um, anyways <laughs> apple youtube netflix disney warners hundreds of others right but if we just talk about those top brands that probably so many people want to achieve and have a chance to work for what does it actually feel like for you bro I, I i saw the stories i see the emotion but what does it actually feel like you know what honestly man even you saying that to me now i'm like that actually happened. <laughs> like, honestly, I'm just the kid from East London, bro. Mm -hmm. I, I always say it. And as much as my dad will probably be like, don't say that, you're like a professional artist. I'm not. I'm just the kid from East London with a dream who loves to paint. I'm passionate about what I do. It's incredible. And, bro, I think for me, any success I get in life isn't for me. It's, I wear a turban, bro. I, I'm representing the community. So if I make it, we yep. all make it, man. And for me, it's always been that and always will be that. So I'm happy with other people get, getting the compliments, being like, yo, that's wicked, man, seeing a, a Punjabi boy doing it. And those compliments I'm cool with. But for me, bro, I, I still can't acknowledge or even... I just get overwhelmed by it, bro. So um, I'm proud, man. I am proud. There you go, bro. Just keep yeah, man. That's all you can do. Keep <laughs> building, right? Keep pushing the culture forward. Of course. If you weren't an artist, what profession would you oh, be? bro, man. Listen, I wanted to be a pilot when I was a kid. I was dedicated. <laughs> With your fear? Yes, exactly. <laughs> Isn't that funny? I was just going to make that point. My biggest fear is like flying now, and I hate it. I've caught so many flights, flights now, man. But I wanted to be a pilot. Man, that, that was what I went to. But I don't know, bro. I think I've still been in the arts, maybe like curating exhibitions or something. I love the idea of putting something together. Um, so I'm sure I'd still be in the creative industry at some in some sense, man. I love it. Uh, mental health is obviously a big part of everything that we do in yeah. every industry. Of course. Um, for creative blocks, how do you overcome that? Do you know what, bro? I don't think you can, man. I, I just think it's a part of the process. I've tried like, like I, I deliberately deliberately tell myself that it's a part of the thing. It's a part of the package. It's a part of 
why you're creating. But if I was to do something, is just get away from it. Just get away from what, what you break. do. Um, and I'm glad you touched up on mental health because that's really important, man. You know, real people share emotions. It's okay to do that. But for me, like I said earlier on, you know, taking the dog for a walk, man, going for a drive, you know, just doing anything but like trying to hack at an idea. Because, bro, there's sometimes I spend 20, 30 hours on a piece. And by the end of it, I'm like, nah, this ain't it. And just put it away. That's but crazy. I never wow. throw, I never throw my artwork away because come four or five weeks in time, I might get reminded that I did that and I'd be like, oh, I'm inspired by that. So it comes and serves its purpose when it's meant to. So I don't see it as a creative blocker. I just feel like it's not right for now. Yeah, that's crazy. A <laughs> um, couple more. Yeah, How do you hope your art impacts the next generation? Oh, man. Um, in the South Asian community, bro, I just want people to realize it's not a taboo subject, man. Like, I've had, so I still get my uncles. Are you still doing that doodling thing you do? Bro, they're so ignorant to it, right? They're so like narrow-minded that it's, <laughs> it's a dude. Yeah, man. They got no time to go check out what inquisitive is and what it's doing, but yeah. you're still doing that doodling thing you do, that the drawing thing. And it's just mad, isn't it, that that's still there. And then you get the messages from parents like, yo, my, I'm putting my, my, my kid into like art, the arts right now because of you. And I'm not no role model. I'm not trying to be a role model, but I'm, I'm glad to pave the way for South Asian artists to see that, oh, there's a guy, he's got, he's got a turban on and he's killing it. Looks just like me, exactly. Bro, and that's what I'm trying to do, man. I'm, I don't think I have a specific purpose in my life. I just, I just want to, I want people to be celebrated, not just me, you know? There's so many South Asian artists killing it right now. Isn't that incredible? Like, yeah. and I love it. I love, I want to be part of that, man. I love that. Uh, I'm going to go into our last segment. Three questions, might be a little bit deeper, maybe they won't I'm down be. for it, bro. Uh, tell me something no one knows about you. I cry often. That's a deep one, bro. I cry often. That's deep. Yeah, man, because real men share emotions, man. Um, mm -hmm. I feel like sometimes when I'm quite into my artwork, I shed a tear, man. I shed a tear because there's no point of painting if you're not putting feeling and heart into it, right? And um, when I paint, I want people to do that. Like sometimes, you know, I, I could be thinking about my mom or I could be thinking about a certain, like recently this coverage of someone who's passed away or got killed or I, I serve that. I, my, my art is to serve injustices and I do that. And sometimes I'm so deep into it in my, I'm, I find myself crying. So not many people know that and kind of have to be like, yeah, dad, what'd you say? Yeah, I'm good, man. <laughs> <laughs> so it's true, man. And, and again, I don't question it. It's part of the process and um, I'm very raw like that. I just want to give you a big us because obviously, you know, within our community, two big, two hard, two hard things for men to talk about, mental health. Yeah, man. And any type of emotion at all on camera. So big ups to you for Thank actually you. wanting to share course, that. Of course, of um, course. What's the ultimate message that you want to convey through your art? To anyone in the world that's seen your stuff, what do you want them to understand and feel and know? I think just being open-minded, man. If it's with my artwork specifically, yeah, man. Like oh, being open-minded towards certain things. Um, I feel like another thing with my artwork is, bro, because it's so questionable, you can't see it with a, a narrow mind, man. You got to understand. You got to understand the artist's journey and not just the artwork. For example, I could paint something today and it might not sit well with someone and someone might change the narrative of it, mm. but they'll forget to see all the other things I'm serving and the kind of art I do, which is to empower people, serve to those injustices that aren't being like getting on the platform of news and stuff. So I just want people to be a bit more open-minded with, with my work and understand the journey of the artist and not just the art. Deep. Deep. Profound, bro. I'm telling you, you got to start doing voiceovers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm ready, bro. <laughs> I'm telling you. Okay, last question. You kind of teased it a little bit. Um, are you able to share maybe any type of teaser, any upcoming collaboration, anything into 2024 that the fans can look oh, forward to for you? Oh, man. I mean, it's only right to say because my guy's all dressed dapper right now. There's a couple of clothing things happening, man. There's a couple of clothing things happening. Okay. Let's just say that much. Um, yeah, I really can't say too much. Man, I'm, I'm excited to be working on some really big projects with some big brands. Fingers crossed. Um, and I'm just going to leave it like that because I'm going to put it out there in the universe and it might not happen. I'll be like, damn it, man. <laughs> but no, um, expanding, but also books. I, again, like I said earlier on, I'm a children's illustrator by heart. I'm working on some books, man. That's beautiful, bro. Yo, <laughs> I appreciate you coming on, giving me t basically 20 minutes of your time today. We're going to see you at the event tomorrow. It's going to be a lot of fun. First time in Edmonton? First time, bro. And it won't be my last, man. It won't be. Your, <laughs> bro, you said you come back to the studio, right? Yeah, oh, so it yeah. won't be your last time. But, bro, that's what, the, what it is. I also want to uh, congratulate you for this and also to say thank you for celebrating an artist because we're so used to doing YouTubers, musicians, rappers. The arts always get left behind. So big up Agreed. to yourselves and big up to this, man. Appreciate you, man. Like I said, first ever episode of Turn Up the Heat. Lots more coming. Make sure y'all follow up and follow for more. Love.